Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Expand Your Life Giveaway Show. I'm your host, Krista Inakovsky, and today I'm excited to introduce you all to Art Geyser, who has got some really just interesting way of, of shifting our lives energetically. Uh, he's an energetic NLP specialist, um, and I just I love the work that you do. And welcome. Well, I'm I'm really pleased to be here, and thanks for putting on this this whole gift program. It's, I know a lot of the other gift givers and it's really very high quality, useful gifts, which is great. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I'm, I'm just so impressed with all of the contributors and um, what each of you are bringing to the table and holding true to the theme that I've created of expand your life. And that's about expansion in all areas. And just as we were about to go live, I'd say, all right, art, it's going to be uh, fun and easy. And, and you said to me, you're like, I like to use fun and easy. And that's, to me, that's what it's all about. We, when we claim the energy of how we want our life to be, then we're able to live into that. And what we claim, what we state, what, what we put out energetically is what comes back to us. So what are your thoughts on that, Art? Well, so we can transform situations. So Ooh, I love there's that. a lot of situations. You can either suffer through them or you can find a way to uh, be appreciative or have gratitude. And uh, I had shoulder surgery a few years ago and had to wear this, had to go to my high school reunion with my arm out. Like, you know how you want to look really good? I was going to exercise. And I'm like look, looking kind of weird. But um, and when I, when wearing all that would bother me, I would just stop and go, you know, there are billions of people who can't have this kind of surgery. They'd just be slightly crippled. And you know, until recently, nobody could have it. So art, be grateful. You know, and so I, I think very often it's we can take our attitude and look for what's positive and look what we can appreciate. And then it becomes easier and more fun for sure. It really does. It really does. Um, so I know you, you have been doing what you do for over 35 years. Um, give us just a little bit of background like, about energetic NLP and why that's so important to you. An energetic NLP, uh, some of you have heard of NLP or Neuro Linguistic Programming. If you've never heard of it, you've heard of the most famous person in our field, who is Tony Robbins, and he has his own way of doing things. But the core of his power to transform people's lives comes from the NLP, the Neuro Linguistic Programming. And actually, we started, I think started about a year before me. He, he did a little better with the marketing, I think, than I am. <laughs> and... Uh, um, and I've been an NLP trainer actually since 1985. And I realized early on that NLP as incredible as it was, was only part of the picture that you needed to add in spiritual principles and healing and transformative energy work. And as I started to mix all of those, that was the birth of energetic NLP, where we use the power of NLP to work with the conscious and unconscious mind, but we're also working with chakras and the energy field and um, spiritual principles. And I always have to say, for those of you that think it's woo-woo, there's actually, uh, I was a medical researcher for 11 years for the University of California. There's a, a lot of very good research now that energy work is real. So I just like to point that out to people. Yes. I, I really love that as well. Um, I'm, I'm okay with the woo-woo because I'm, I, I think it's important to be in a space of belief. Yet, I also really appreciate when we can now see when where science can back up things that were really just almost hunches or feelings of the way things were done. Um, but now with you know, how they can do brain scans and, and all the different ways that they can mo monitor things um, is really fascinating to be like, yeah, we can actually prove what's going on. Um, and it just helps maybe helps those non-believers out there take that extra step of faith and go, all right, this is, we are more powerful in how we think and feel and our beliefs have a much bigger impact than a lot of people actually take, uh, will claim that it does. Well, and I, in my programs, I make people take a pledge that they're not going to believe anything I tell them. And I'll go, I don't, I don't believe what I'm telling you. This is what I think, you know, I'm not Moses coming down with the 10 commandments you know, for you. And and one of the things that makes energetic and LP playful is, is they go, let's explore ideas. We don't have to go, oh, this is the absolute truth of the universe. What happens when you explore these ideas? As you were saying earlier, what happens if we believe that life can be easier and more fun? 
things happen. And so uh, we have a lot of fun just letting go of ideology around it and just Mm -hmm. like, let's try on ideas, see what happens. And in my work, the goal is always that people connect more with their spiritual information and their deep inner human wisdom. And I have no investment in whether that agrees with what I'm saying. In fact, I'll tell students, sometimes they'll come up with something brilliant and I'll go, oh good, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna use that now. (laughs) One of my other favorite words is curiosity and Mm. just coming at at life with this place of playful curiosity of let's try. Let's see if it's if it's work. Let's and be in, in that space. And I've <clears throat> found that that is just a for me a really nice light energy to be in. As uh, so they're not looking for it to have to be right or wrong. It's like oh, I'm curious on well, how this is going to work for me. Let me get, give it a shot and and step forward into it and and take information and guidance from from you and other uh, leaders and be like, all right, let's let's try it on. Uh, I, I love that. That's exactly. I'll tell you, you can be skeptical. That's great. I'm. Like I say, I was a researcher, I'm skeptical, but I try things and I'm curious and I'm happy to find out sometimes, oh, I was wrong. So there's a different way of thinking that's better. Yeah, you mentioned the word transformation. Tell me a little bit more about what you, how that plays into the work that you do. So the, the, the idea that I operate out of is that everybody has incredible and phenomenal potential and miraculous abilities. And everybody's ability to work with energy and to do things that they never thought was possible. Not everybody's interested in it. It's not everybody's path, but anybody who wants to, it's just a matter of clearing the incredible amount of unconscious and energetic programming and societal programming that shuts us down. And I don't think that's bad or wrong. Almost all societies are hierarchical and they want you to believe what they're telling you. And so we get it programmed unconsciously, but also energetically not to find our own truth and believe what we're being told. And, you know, if you think if you're a parent, you don't want your kid questioning whether they should run across the street or not. You just just believe me. And so a lot of my work with people is clearing unconscious and energetic blocks to them, them really connecting with their own spirit and their own inner wisdom and then opening up their abilities to do transformative energy work. Because, uh, you know, it was a big revelation when people started realizing, well, it's not just your conscious mind, you have an unconscious mind. Right. And, but it's not just your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, you have karma, you have spiritual contracts, there's literally energetic programming in all of your chakras and your energy field. So in energetic and people, we work with all of that. And, And it creates what we call whole being alignment. And then things in life just go incredibly smoother. Yeah, I'm a, a big advocate of that and do that in my own life and the love following the work that, that you do and, and how that's been able to um, make such a big impact. I, I look at it like you you can't just keep adding on top of what's mm. inside. We have to keep clearing to make room for new ways of being and that clearing out process and recognizing and being conscious and aware of of the, the programming, the subconscious that's there somewhere and just going, okay, I know there's things that are running inside of me that I'm not thinking of, but they're there. And just taking that and then to go, how do I take action to be, to clear out as much as I can, as I want to bring, be new and present. I'm all about being like in the present moment. And, and it's, I, I really think it's incredibly important to be doing this work that you do. Well, can I just say it starts in the womb? I mean, our, mm-hmm. our parents don't know it, but they're programmed to program their children, which again, y- you know, every child needs to learn the rules of whatever society and family they're in. So it's not like it's bad or wrong, but they're giving you, you know, all their limitations. <laughs> and it's not just from them because they were programmed by their parents and their parents and their parents. So here we are, 21st century people. We have a lot of programming in us from a few hundred years ago. It's like right. you know, outdated. It doesn't it, serve us anymore. No, it, it's like it, it's it's not even it's not whether it's good or bad or positive or negative. It's like we're in a different world. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Art, I want to share with everybody your gift that is available here at the Expand Your Life giveaway. Um, so anybody here who's watching, there's a link wherever you're seeing this, jump on into the Expand Your Life giveaway uh, and you'll have 
free access to any and all of the gifts that are there available for you. And this specific one, if you want to look for a Blockbuster Day 4 program, is Arts Gift. And tell us who it's for. It's for anybody who wants to open up more of their full potential. It's particularly for those of you that are always, I, I think of the people that get interested in energetic NLP, they're like flowers. They always want to blossom. They want to grow to the light. And sometimes they're motivated because we have challenges or problems. But we're just, uh, like earlier, Christy, you were talking about curiosity. And, um, you know, we're people, we just want to keep opening more and more of our full potential. And to do it in a way that not only evolves you spiritually and personally, but actually makes your life better. So the, the four-day program, it's four videos over four days. And the videos take you through really simple and really powerful processes to clear unconscious blocks, energetic blocks, spiritual contracts. Uh, we work with karma. We work with a lot of different things in those four days. And they're each one, they're, they're easy, they're fun. You learn at the right at the beginning how to put your spirit and your inner wisdom in charge of how you benefit. So it's not your conscious mind running everything or, or doing what I say. You learn how to let your own spirit and inner wisdom be in charge of what happens. And then it's really magical and easy. And I, I call them energy spas because it's like if you want to get a massage, you set your intention, you give permission, you pick somebody who's really good, and then you go, make me feel better. <laughs> well, uh, the, these are not about if uh, analyzing yourself endlessly, talking about what happened when you were three or your mom did this, your dad did that. It's about letting go of all that and just letting the energy and your spirit do all the work. Mm, I love that. Um, and even the way that you've named it just gives us that sense that it's about being easy. We want to step in, into that. So at four days, four videos, and you can go ahead and grab it today. Even if you can't start today, that's okay. You can access the that video um, series and do the spa when you can. Um, but I highly recommend it. It's a great way to get to know Art and his work and to start trying it on. Like we talked about, be curious, try on uh, new ways of being and see how you'll feel in this process of being able to clear out, perhaps see things a little bit differently. Well, I, I get a lot of feedback from people that, um, that it's incredibly transformative, that they get really very significant life shifts just from these four videos. And as you said, you have access to them so you can watch them whenever you want. And you can even put them on and go to sleep. <laughs> oh, interesting. All right. I know that you have clients all over the world. You've been making an impact on you know, countless people for years and years. I really appreciate the work that, that you're doing. And you know, really hope that those of you who are watching take advantage of um, giving it a try. Let's see what it looks like. I know I'm going to tap in um, and get them and go through that, that process. And because I love continuing the work. It feels good. I continue to have um, expansion in my life and my heart. And, uh, you know, when people like you and me, we are committed to continual growth and find right. joy in that path. And I hope that the to bring that to more people through this giveaway. So if you're watching, go ahead and click in and grab Art's Gift and any of the others that you like because it is available to you. Thank you for letting me be part of it. I, I've been in giveaways in the past where some of them have been great and others you're kind of like, uh-oh. Um, and this is one where I'm like, I'm really proud to be part of it. I, I say, no, I don't know everybody who's a contributor, but I know a number of them. And they're high integrity, compassionate, caring people who have a lot of uh, skills and abilities and knowledge. So it's it's really a great opportunity. Oh, thank you. I feel honored. We're all in good company here. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Art. And uh, thank you all for tuning in. And we'll see you next time. Be sure to sign up, everybody. <laughs>